Hello everybody and we are back yet again with this yet another session on getting started with PTP for ABAP developers. So as you all know in our last video we talked about SAP PTP and its use cases. I hope till now you all are well versed with understanding what actually BTP is and what are its different use cases. And in this short video, we are going to talk about the history of SAP BTP and its evolution. So although SAP BTP offering is relatively new, it consists of solutions that have been around for years and some of these BTP components go back quite a way. One of the pillars of SAP BTP, the so-called application development and integration pillar, it can trace its lineage back to SAP NetWaver Cloud Neo, the SAP's first platform as a service offering. Do not worry, I use the word one of the pillars of SAP BTP, right? And in our upcoming videos, we will also be talking about the different pillars of SAP BTP. So in this image shows the brief Thailand timeline about the history of SAP BTP. At this point, you may get confused or may not understand certain terms like Cloud Foundry or Kaima or the different environments, but do not worry, we'll also talk about them in short and crisp. So initially unveiled as SAP NetWeaver Cloud Neo belonging to the SAP HANA Cloud portfolio in around October 16, 2012. Then this cloud platform was reintroduced with the new name SAP HANA Cloud Platform in May 2013. And this became the foundation for SAP Cloud products including the SAP Business Objects Cloud. Then your adoption of the SAP HANA Cloud Platform increased steadily since this platform's launch way back in 2012. And then a lot of customers and partners started adopting the SAP HANA Cloud Platform. Then in around year 2017 February, SAP HANA Cloud Platform was renamed to SAP Cloud Platform as in the HANA word got dropped and it became your SAP Cloud Platform. But before that also one interesting thing happened where in the same 2017 in that year, the Cloud Foundry environment also got added along with the new environment. Then in 2018, the ABAP environment got added to SCP, so called SAP Cloud Platform then. And in 2020, one more environment got added called the Kaima Runtime environment. And then in 2021, your SAP Cloud Platform brand was officially retired to support SAP's one platform strategy as in SAP BTP got introduced. So SAP BTP was introduced as a new brand name in 2021 where SAP BTP provides extended functionality. However, the core is still equivalent to what is formerly known as SCP that is SAP Cloud Platform. So many of you would have heard about SAP Cloud Platform earlier when we used to go on to our trial instance and all but now it's rebranded and renamed to SAP BTP as in SAP Business Technology Platform. So SAP BTP is not exactly a one is to one replacement of SAP Cloud Platform. But SAP Cloud Platform makes up one of the application development and integration pillars of SAP BTP. Basically, you can say that SAP BTP was called SAP HANA Cloud Platform and then SAP Cloud Platform in the beginning. As you know, you can see here, right? It was earlier called SAP HANA Cloud Platform and then it got renamed to SAP Cloud Platform. And basically, this idea was to provide a platform which not only related to SAP HANA, but with other open source technologies and services as well, such as Java development or MongoDB DB usage and all. However, since SAP thrives on real industry business process, so the name was finally changed to SAP BTP, which indicates that SAP BT is targeted for business requirement, leveraging various technologies, including open source ones, of course. So now the question arises, why was SCP 
rebranded to SAP BTP. Let me share you an analogy. Imagine if you have a store or a shop which sells different kinds of cookies, chocolate cookies, milk cookies, anything, right? Over time, you notice that customers prefer more than just the cookies and they also want different types of treats like chocolates, candies and many such other eateries. So to better serve your customers and reflect the variety of products that your store holds and offers, you decide to rebrand your store with a new name that includes or maybe it can be renamed as customers getting happy with the different treats available. So this way people will understand that your store has expanded beyond just your cookies. Similarly, SAP Cloud Platform SCP was originally focused on providing cloud-based services for businesses. However, as time went on, SAP realized that their platform was offering more than just cloud services, right? It also included technologies for application development, integration, analytics, and many more. To better represent this broader range of offerings and show that it's not just about the cloud, SAP finally decided to rebrand their platform as SAP Business Technology Platform as in SAP BTP. This new name helps the customers understand that the platform is not limited to the cloud itself but also includes various technologies such as cutting edge technologies to help businesses with their overall technology needs. To summarize, SAP rebranded SAP to SAP BTP to better reflect that it's not just about the cloud services anymore. It's a comprehensive technological based platform that provides various tools and services for businesses to build, integrate and run all kinds of digital solutions on this platform such as mobile apps or data analytics, artificial intelligence and many more. Now that we understood the evolution of SAP BTP from SAP HANA Cloud Platform to SAP to BTP and why was it renamed or why was it rebranded? Let's understand few of these terminologies in brief. First of all, I talked about the NEO that is NetFever On Demand, right? So this SAP Cloud Platform NEO environment is based on a SAP property runtime environment that runs only in the SAP operated data centers. It supports Java, SAP HANA Access Engine and HTML5 application. So basically this term NEO refers to reference the SAP hosted environment on the SAP cloud platform and it clearly distinguishes it from the cloud foundry environment hosted by other cloud providers. So there had been a lot of strategies, a lot of articles, a lot of posts around as to how to migrate these applications that were built on Neo from Neo to cloud and even a recent blog and a recent announcement happened where Neo is going to be sunset soon. So all the new customers and partners will be deployed on the multi cloud foundation for SAP BTP by default. And this multi cloud foundry dependency is basically your cloud foundry environment. So cloud foundry is an open source industry standard for multi cloud environments, which I just stated a few minutes back. Unlike Neo, which is hosted by SAP on its own data centers, cloud foundry can be hosted on any of the big four hyperscalers such as Amazon Web Services, AWS, Microsoft Azure, GCP Google Cloud Platform and Alibaba Cloud as well as OpenStack. The platform as a service offering hides the runtime and operating system and everything underneath like virtualization and any other stuff so that you can focus only on your application and the data. CF the short form for Cloud Foundry. So if you hear Neo, that means your Neo NetWeaver on demand and CF for your cloud fund environment. So basically the CF also covers the deployment and the management of the apps, taking care of dependencies as well via so called build packs with the help of languages like Java, Node.js, Ruby and many other such open source languages are supported. Now coming forward to one of the environments that is your Kaima runtime environment. So this Kaima runtime is based on the open source project of the same name. It's a cloud native platform based on Kubernetes. 
for extending your monolith applications with serverless functions and microservices. It provides a properly configured, monitored and secured Kubernetes cluster. So taking away the burden from all the developers of these reoccurring standard tasks from the programmer. And tools for this are bundled with Kaima example, maybe such as monitoring is done by Prometheus and Grafana and logging by Loki and so on. So the projects and all other details are designed in such a way so as to give you the tools that you need to be able to write an end to end production grade cloud native application with the help of this Kaima runtime environment on Kubernetes. And one of the good use cases that I can talk about is you can use this Kaima runtime environments to receive events and API calls from the SAP applications and connect them to the third party services from external sources through the so called service catalog. And definitely there are a lot of blogs and other articles which you can definitely explore about to learn more about this Kaima runtime environment. Last but not the least. For all those favorite ABAP developers, your favorite ABAP environment, unofficially also called the Steampunk initially in 2018 when it was more on ABAP and Cloud on the BTP environment, but with the latest release on S4 Cloud also that we called Steampunk plus embedded Steampunk which is on your ABAP Cloud on S4 Cloud versions. So basically it's the possibility to write ABAP in the cloud. It is a way to extend on-prem SAP systems using the latest technology but sticking to a familiar programming language and decoupling the extension code. So you can think about a lot of scenarios that run on the cloud and maybe exploit SAP HANA and make use of the other SAP cloud platform services irrespective of the implementation language to make use of the ABAP environment. And you need to be aware that the scope of the ABAP language with respect to the ABAP environment is limited. That is no SAP GUI, no WebDen Pro, no direct access to tables. Instead, you need to use ADT, theory based principles, theory based applications, APIs, OData. So there is some custom code adaption also needed when migrating to the cloud. So all those things that you need to keep in mind and obviously you can explore a lot to learn more about the ABAP environment. So that's the best part of BTP that within SAP BTP, it's possible to use a variety of different tools and programming languages, which exactly are supported and depends on the environment that you're planning to use. Maybe whether it's the Cloud Foundry environment or the Kaima runtime environment or the ABAP environment. So depending on which platform you are using, there are different programming models available to jumpstart with the development without the need to deal with boilerplate coding. So example, you can use cloud application programming, which can be used with the Cloud Foundry environment. So the SAP cloud application programming model with the respective framework of languages, libraries and tools that you can use for building enterprise grade services and applications based on your Cloud Foundry environment. And on your ABAP environment, you can make use of ABAP RESTful application programming model that is RAP, which can be used for Steampunk or your embedded Steampunk as in this wrap defines architecture for your efficient end to end development for developing SAP HANA optimized OData services such as Fiery applications in your SAP BTP ABAP environment or on your A server ABAP either on S4 HANA prem or on S4 HANA on cloud from a restful ABAP application programming paradise perspective. So you can see that with the help of BTP with this different environments available you can make use of different tools and programming languages to develop enterprise grade applications. So what makes SAP BTP different? There are three major benefits of SAP BTP which makes it different and unique solution offering for organizations. First let me start with unified. So to meet customer demand for a more intuitive simple platform SAP BTP offers a unified experience that spans a wide variety of scenarios around integration, creation of value from data and extensibility. Remember the use cases that I talked about in the last video. Now another more major benefit is the business centric. So SAP BTP is designed for business transformation and not just technology transformation or optimization. SAP BTP features are focused on improving the business outcomes companies can achieve. This platform offers process and data specific tooling that helps organizations rapidly build and 
extend SAP applications. And the last but not the least, the other important benefit is your open as in companies need flexibility, right? When it comes to how they deploy and run their business processes and IT systems, because SAP BTP is open, organizations can choose how to build and extend their applications either on a hyperscaler cloud infrastructure in SAP data, set data centers or on their own premises. So I hope by now you have a clear cut understanding of the how SAP BTP really makes a difference. So finally to conclude, what all did I cover in this short video? First of all, we talked about the history of SAP BTP and its evolution right from how it started in 2012 and how the rebranding happened in 2021 and why did that rebranding happen. Then I also gave you a short overview on the different environments that are available and how you can leverage them to build enterprise grade applications with different tools and languages. And I also shed light on how basically it was connected to SCP, SCP cloud platform as many of you were aware about it earlier and how this actually BTP came into picture. And last but not the least, we also understand about how actually SAP BTP makes a difference with three of its major benefits. So basically BTP is an umbrella term that encompasses several core technologies such as HANA, SAP Analytics Cloud, BI, Datasphere, Analytics, many more, HANA Cloud and many others and data lakes and all and it keeps on growing. So it is also a platform as a service to integrate your tools and technologies as we have been talking about. So since SAP states in several places and several announcements that innovation will happen in the cloud, it seems to be a very good idea to get started and know more about this platform and its capabilities. Till now, at this point we'll conclude here and in our next upcoming video, we'll talk more about the technical pillars of SAP BTP when you don't the hat of a developer. Thank you. Thanks for watching this. Keep on subscribing to Zapier's videos to learn and know more about SAP BTP and it's how to get started from an ABAPA's perspective. Thank you.